What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean aka The Blue Crusader and you've fallen on the right tutorial if you're looking for the best render settings in Sony Vegas. So currently I'm using Vegas Pro 14, a lot of you guys might have different versions, I think 15 is the newest version available, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but 14 is one of the newest versions and this will support that, but most of these settings will be available in the older or newer versions as well. I'm going to be showing you the best render settings you can use in Sony Vegas to allow your final video outputs to actually look perfect and also have a great file size as well before you upload them to YouTube. A lot of people when they render things out if they've got crazy settings that are really bad sometimes they might have a video that's up to like six gigabytes or seven gigabytes or if they upload a raw video it could be up to 10 gigabytes as well. You really don't want to upload videos this big because you're really going to have trouble and it's going to take absolutely hours to upload and for this reason I'm going to be showing you my Vegas render settings. So what you want to do is you want to select all your footage and go to render as. If you watched my last video which was actually my best recording settings in OBS you'll know that my OBS settings were on 30 FPS so we need to support this as well. Depending on whether you use 60 FPS for OBS or 30 FPS for OBS will depend what your render output settings are going to be in Sony Vegas. You want to match the FPS of your footage in the final render. So as you can see here we're on the render panel and I'm going to be showing you my settings. So basically when you're first on this and you first launch it you're going to be greeted by a lot of different presets now you'll see down here that I do have a YouTube preset but this is entirely custom so I'm going to be showing you how to do this and I'm going to set up the preset again because I basically know what my settings are what you want to do is you want to go down to main concept AVC AAC and make sure it says .mp4 here because we'll be using mp4 as the file output then you want to expand this little arrow down here and we want to find something that says internet HD 1080p now you want to select this and you want to click customize template and I'm going to show you what you need to change. So if you want to make a YouTube template we can change the template to YouTube and then 1080 and then the FPS that you want. We're going to be doing 60 FPS for this tutorial but if you were following my OBS recording settings and you use 30 FPS as your video you really want to select 30 FPS down here and all you do is you go down to frame rate and you type 30 FPS there and that's all you do. But we're going to save this because we're going to run 60 FPS and we can click the drop down box here. There's only a few options though unfortunately for this so you do need to manually type 60 FPS. There we go. And then the profile wants to be selected on main. You can also select it on high as well which will improve the quality. So we're going to put this basically as the highest quality render output settings. But if you want to put it on main it might actually be a little bit easier on your system. So you want the frame size to be on 1920 by 1080 obviously unless you're uploading 4K footage which which is absolutely crazy and it's kind of overkill in my opinion but a lot of people do have 4k monitors nowadays so you might want to actually support that especially if you're doing something like a film project or a film series or something like a documentary series on YouTube or maybe like a food series where you go around and try and foods a lot of people do like to watch this kind of footage on 4k definition and if you've recorded in it then you might want to support it and that's how you do it so then we want the field order to be on non-progressive scan sometimes it's on upper field first or lower field first you want it on non-progressive scan because sometimes this will make unnecessary motion blur in your frames and you really don't want this. And then you want the source to adjust frame rate, you can leave that ticked. You want the pixel aspect ratio on 1 because if you put it on 1.33 whilst you're on 1080p it's going to have black bars at either side of your video frame and it's going to look really bad. So you want this on 1. Then you want the constant bit rate unselected, you don't want that selected, you want variable selected. And a lot of people think that the maximum bitrate is 24k is a really nice setting. You can also select that as something like 28k but that's probably overkill. Keep this on 24k because it still looks pretty nice. And average should be on 12 but you can always turn it up. I wouldn't match it but you can turn it up to something like 14. And the number of slices really doesn't matter, you can leave that on default. Enable progressive download should be ticked and then we can move on to the audio selection. So you want your audio to be on 48k because it sounds the best, but if you recorded your audio on 44kHz in OBS you might want to select that because in the long term it's not really going to make much difference, especially if you have 44kHz audio and then you select 48 as the output, not really going to do anything in that regard. You want your bitrate on 192k, or if you recorded in 320 in OBS, which we did, you want to select that because it's going to sound better. So if you were following the OBS tutorial video, these the appropriate settings to match that tutorial. You want 44 kilohertz sample rate and 320 BPS. So then on system, 
it doesn't really matter, that should just be greyed out on MP4. And project's not too important, but you can select use project settings, or you can select best. I would leave it on use project settings, and leave all these how they were. And then up here you want to make sure you click save template, because then once you press OK, your template will be available here. As you can see, we now have a new template called 1080p 60fps. Now, I will probably remove this template later because I have a template already selected, which is 30fps. But the next thing what we need to do is we need to cancel that and we need to go back into Vegas. Now in Vegas, what you want to do is you want to go down to properties and we want to match some of these different settings in our properties. So as you can see here, it did say use project files on the last tab. So we want to select the width on 1920 by 1080. You want the pixel aspect ratio on one, which is what we selected before on the render settings. The frame rate should match your render settings. So you want to change this to 60. I'm going to leave it alone just for now, just because I don't want to mess up my own render settings. But you want to change this to 60. And then we want to go down to pixel format. This should be 8 bit. On full resolution, it should be good, but you can also change it to best because it'll make it look better, obviously. Motion blur should be on Gaussian blur. Deinterlace, you really need to select this to none because, like we said before, deinterlace method is the thing that's going to add unwanted motion blur. It's going to make your video look really crappy in the end, so I'd definitely turn that off. Resample mode does a similar thing as well. I'm not sure if it blends frames or if it just makes things blurry, but it adds blur to your video and I'm pretty sure it blends frames so everything kind of looks like it's in motion. Really bad is a setting. I look back on some of my old videos where I didn't disable the resampling and they look absolutely terrible. So definitely remember to disable resample. Then that's basically all you need. You want to match your audio, so you want to change your sample to 44. You want to change your sample rate to 44. You want this to be on stereo. And that's basically all you need to do, guys. One thing I would recommend, though, is even if you change the sample rate to disabled, like we just did, sometimes your clips will still be enabled for sample rate. So you want to right-click on a clip, click switches and disable resample this is really important if you don't want your clips to look bad so that's basically all the tutorial guys if you want to use these settings to make your videos look great in sony vegas then here are all the settings i hope this video helped people i hope this tutorial was useful if it was useful then do like the video drop a comment below letting me know as well you can also leave suggestions for the next tutorial in things you need help with and i'll try and make a tutorial on it but this channel is mainly gaming we do upload lore videos and top 10 fact videos so if you don't want to miss out on on those videos definitely subscribe for daily videos i will also be uploading some minecraft tutorials soon because a lot of people who are subscribed i did promise to do some minecraft mod tutorials on how to make mods so definitely be looking out for those soon thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you next time Come on, throw your hands up. If you got the feeling, then jump across the ceiling. Mugs is a funk fest. Someone's talking junk.